Hello everybody! Back once again for more Total War Room 2. This is basically, as I said, about five minutes after the last one was recorded. It's a bit of a tangling up of my earbuds. Yes, I still use wired earbuds. And Bluetooth. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I, I just had a quick message, some, do some messages. I didn't really have a really a full real snack, but I did have some more water, so that's good. So last episode we wiped out these Seleucids over here, bitch slap both of them, showing this is our territory. This is our country. I'm just gonna finish these guys off real fast. Just do a bit of a balance dance. Finish off, finish these guys off. This army will definitely need some time to regress and recover after this, but. But afterwards, we should hopefully be able to keep up the fight with them. So we lost a cavalry unit. We can't really replace them with another cavalry unit, unfortunately. But I think we can just throw in like a unit, like another unit to kind of function with the same purpose. These guys really. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> I just felt the need to cough right in right there. Um, sorry. Uh, these guys aren't too bad. Mainly P. Uh, I mean, these guys aren't really as good as these guys, I feel. They have to hold the battle line. They have eight, They have better AP. They're not bad on the melee attack. They have a pretty decent charge bonus, but I think these guys are better. <laughs> I'm just going to go for the Assyrian infantry. Um, let's move my scouts over just so that way I can get an idea of what the situation is beyond what my vision can give. Nobody's coming at me from there at least. This army will be ready in two turns to continue their advance out of Susa. Honestly, I'm gonna probably do it in one turn. These guys having a few guys left over is not the end of the world. You kind of want to go after Tarax, especially since this army was just um... Especially because I I want that territory before Egypt does. It's the last opportunity Egypt has to go over and take some Seleucid territory. And that would take, that mean I'd have to go to war with Egypt. I couldn't just be their, their, their friends, you know. All right, we'll wait one more turn, I think, with that army. Did do anything. Yo, let's go, advance. We want Tarax. Oh my. I hope those guys don't go to war with me anytime soon. <laughs> like, they have two full stacks right there. Two full stacks. If they go to war with me right now, I'm at the retreat and hope for the best. <laughs> well, 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 well. I mean, their army is also kind of trapped unless they go towards Egypt and kill them. Because I did kind of block off their only way out. So we'll see how that pans out for them. Um, and one thing I did forget to mention in the last video, and that I'm probably gonna, you're probably going to see pop up, is that with my girlfriend a couple months ago, we started playing a little bit of um, It Takes Two. Originally, we didn't upload it because we wanted to, she wanted to up, try and do some video editing on it, but in the end, she didn't have the time for it. So there won't be any video editing done to it. So I'm just going to upload it as is once the thumbnails made, I'll start getting that uploaded. I'll probably release those on Monday. And it might be a semi consistent thing that we do where maybe we'll release a Monday video where it's me and her and then Fridays will be Guild Wars 1 and then Wednesdays are whenever I have the time to make more videos of this. <laughs> I don't remember if we have victory conditions in this campaign. We'll see what they are. Because we've we're gotten pretty powerful. I don't really. It's, I'm not sure how challenging enemy AI armies are going to be at this point. You know, we kind of slapped around everything we faced so far. I don't see these Romans being much of a threat to the mighty kingdom of Samari, but we will we will see what ends up going. I mean, I think we're one of the few friends that Rome has, if we're being honest, because um, <laughs> because I think we're the only people trading with them. Let's find out actually. We can find out right now. Of Rome. Yeah, they're at war with everybody. And they only they have one client state, but everyone else they're like, we hate you. We hate you. 
Let's see. Yeah, they don't want to be allies, but we do have an aggression pact with them at least. We'll see how long that lasts, considering, you know, they may even be killed. No, I mean they're bad. They're they're getting bigger and bigger. They may be with everybody, but they seem to be making some good progress. They're not the only people that like they're not at war with Knossos, and they're not at war with Macedon. I'm sure Knossos and Macedon aren't friends. I would think they should be best friends, but they're not. For the sake of friendship. With the why won't you be my friend? <laughs> I am eager to hear your embassy. I'm tempted to be friends with Pergamon. Because they haven't really done anything against me. Become my client. <laughs> I offer this now because the gods wish it. I may not No, I don't want to give you military access. Do not take this offer lightly. I make it now in friendship. This is not pleasing. I expected an honorable proposal, yet still wisdom eluded you. Well, let's see what Egypt does. I honestly, I don't, not against going to war with Egypt. Who are they at war with? They're with a lot of people. Oh well, I'll deal with them later. These guys are actually, oh my. The plague, we walked into the plague. We walked into the plague. Apparently, there's a whole navy here. That's gonna cost. That's gonna be interesting. I don't think they're a big threat. I think the longer we wait, the more we're gonna have trouble because we just got the plague. <laughs> let me let me go in circle real fast though. I want to check some stuff out. Apparently, my, like my other army got the plague too. I'm gonna honor the fact that these guys were able to run away and retreat by just killing them instead of enslaving them. That's my, that's how I'm being nice to these people. Alright, look, there's something going on here. Nipolitis. Let's see, characters. I assume requires attention. I'm getting message by somebody. Give me one second. I'm sorry. This is the second message I've gotten. Oh, apparently the thing I just ordered is, um, that my dad recommended. It was just to get me to the website. I thought it was the, I, th I thought it was the, um, the, I thought it was the, the, I thought it was the, um, the thing he sent, this one he sent me specifically. Apparently not. Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently I spent about, I mean... It's only about twenty dollars more expensive and it's fancier. I guess it's not the end of the world, but oopsies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. According to this, oh, yeah. I accidentally spot bought the. Uh, I accidentally wasted about thirty dollars. Oh, oh, yeah. Thirty dollars, thirty-five dollars for something. It's more fancy than it needs to be. Maybe, maybe later I'll cancel and order the one that I'm actually supposed to get. Oof. Well, I'm going, ha, 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 ha. Oops. Oops. Uh. All right. Anyways, the merchant from the distant south wishes to trade incense and spices with our people. Yeah, I, I'll do it. Give it to the gods. Let them trade. Uh. Monopolize. More money for me. Apparently, my faction, this is my faction leader, I think, is, uh, only has one kid who's alive. The other one died. I might need to adopt. We'll see. That perm secures promotion. Okay. So elephants are not a bad option. I'm gonna get three cav, I'm thinking. I definitely want the bulk of my army to be, I want four of these guys as the nice sturdy center to my army. 
I need one baggage train no matter what. And I want the Scythian uh, armored archers. But those guys are pretty buff. As for the rest, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to go for. Honestly, these young guys, I'm almost tempted to have these guys more than I am the Scythian Lancers. Like, the Lancers have really good charge bonus. They have really good AP and bonus versus infantry. But these guys are pretty good anti-cav units. Honestly, I might get these guys as my as replacements almost for spearmen. I'm thinking. Not, well, not spearmen, but my, my thre the, the flanking thre of spearmen that I usually have. I might use these guys as my anti-cav cav units. The rebel army's growing in size. Nothing I can do about it quite yet. This army's not going to be big enough for a couple turns. And my next biggest army, my um, that's nearby, has the plague. <laughs> the plague, I tell you, the plague. That's good enough to take Rog. I honestly could probably auto resolve it. Yep, it's very easy. Yeah, let's just go for balance dance. Get save some money. I mean, save some time there. My brain's just thinking about oh, I need to cancel that order <laughs> and save some money there. Oof. <laughs> Whoopsies. I'll need to make um, uh, hopefully they will they will they will understand my problem. So it looks like there is an army of Salukids here, but it's only six people, so it's not actually a big threat. Salukids still own Parsa and they still own Charax. They did I enter and know this or I've just been doing other stuff I think I've just been doing other stuff I think we can take them I really think we can I mean that's all archers and so long as we force them to land my calf could pretty much beat up those archers no problem it's mostly and they're, and they're if my infantry out they could probably beat their infantry up we are just quite outnumbered by but we're outnumbered by almost by about 600 men but I think we can do it. I think the game just doesn't believe in us enough. They just don't believe. Nickups. This will actually give us access to the Red Sea. I think this is part of the Red Sea. What's the Indian Ocean or the Indian Ocean? I don't remember what this one's called. No, the Red Sea is definitely Egypt to Arabia. So I don't remember what this one's called. The Fatigue. The fatigue system in DEI battles is very important. Make sure to cycle units on the front lines to avoid morale penalties resulting from fatigue. Well, I'm quite outnumbered right now. I can't really afford that. <laughs> um, so, the enemy archers are probably going to land over here, I imagine. Or they're going to land inside the city. So, so long as we avoid being in range of the boats, they will land. And once they land, we can wipe them out with our calf, no problem. So we just need to force them into that position. That, with that in mind, we're, we're going to kind of advance from over here, I think. There's also one of the most more wide open areas, which is perfect for fighting against phalanx units. Because phalanx units will be pretty tough cookies. an eye out we're gonna try and make use of as much as our mobility advantage as possible we definitely need to keep an eye out. I would honestly not want my archers head-on against whatever we're facing I kind of want them nearby though that's not quite head-on I can help it Uh, I'm gonna have the majority of my guys, these two over here, I'm gonna have my general be the one by himself. He's pretty buff. I'm gonna basically try to use these guys to help buy some time if I need it. Now. 
We have the enemy cab, I would hope, trapped, but I guess not. But they are definitely taking lots of damage. I'm being attacked. I'm being messaged by somebody, and I kind of want to read it because I'm kind of interested in what they're going to say. But part of me is also like, do I really want to know? Yes, great. Let's check real fast. I'm. That doesn't make much sense to me. I'll do that later, though. Okay. Oh my, my guys actually kept charging in. Not what I expected them to do. I'm gonna advance my war elephants in. I'm gonna order my general and I'm gonna get my cav involved now. So that guy is good to go there. I'm gonna send this guy against those archers. Concentrate fire! Perfect. The enemies are doing exactly what I was hoping they would do. They're landing and making themselves weak and easy targets. I'm going to launch my war elephants into this fight now. Fire! Your javies! They're firing your javies at the wrong targets! Fools! Uh, my, my archers are doing a really good job with their concentrated fire at the enemy. I hope, I'm hoping I'm getting a lot of kills with these guys, but I might just be softening them up, which honestly isn't a bad thing, it's just not... As impressive as murdering them all, you know what I mean? Where's my general now? Where's one of these guys? So we're, this guy needs to keep charging in. This guy is way over here. We get this guy involved over here. Where's my general? Where's my general? Oh, he's over there. Oof. Good, good, good. He's, well, I say good, 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 good. But he's also kind of dealing with a lot more units than there are of him, so... We have the enemy surrounded! My general is, is not really taking much damage from these guys, which is good. Still gonna use his abilities. Alright, keep up push, keep pushing! Right now I'm going to stop these guys from firing the rest of their ammunition because they're honestly at a point now where we've so overwhelmed them that we don't really, that their archer arrows are more likely to our own troops now. So this guy is already engaged, this guy is about to be engaged. And boom, their entire, their, all of their infantry have been wiped out. They're in a big ball, and I just said, ha ha, suckers. You know, that, that's what happened. Okay. We may be plague infested, but at least we're not those cavalry. Not those archers, we're used to their boats. We're land lovers, and they came to our land. So we showed them who's boss. 
Musically, like, I'm just moving my bagger train over here, mostly to try and take some of the aggro away from the other from my other guys, like from the archers, and they're doing a pretty good job of doing that. You could be pr like it's not that hard actually to make use of the uh, use of those guys. Now I can start advancing my my infantry over here now to assist. Boom, shakalaka. Elephants, elephants, ele, ele, elephants. Alright, we've wiped the enemy there. Might as well engage another unit over here. And I'm going to send this unit over here just to capture the capture point for the fun of it. My, my general is winded, so and he's facing a big group, so he's like, ah, we might lose this. <laughs> I like how my baggage train is actually attacking these guys. That horse just totally bomb rushed that guy by himself. My, my. Victory is ours. Mm, only lost 441 men. They lost 2,839 men. So much for me not having the favor in this battle. Get wrecked. General got a lot, my horses all got a lot of kills. My archers didn't do too bad. My infantry though, they murdered. Look at how many kills I got in this battle. They only got 419 kills, which means we did accidentally kill about 22 of our own men. But you, but you, you know, we're, we're getting better about it. I swear. <laughs> We, you know, so long, we were just put down. Um, just to get you to for a second. I get them too. Oh. Oh, that's something else. Okay, that's what he meant by the email. Oh, he's talking about the. He's talking about something else. All right, that's what that was. I got confused. <laughs> Nero, Roman Emperor. Alright, I'm quite happy to have that battle won nice and easy. We have half Tarax, which means that we now have this whole province under our control. It is a bit plague infested right now, but, but uh, that's not the end of the world. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I want... This building to be military. I want if I'm trying to decide if I actually want a military building or not here. I kind of do, and I kind of don't. Hmm. If I demolish it, then I will um, be able to put in like more of a public order kind of thing. But if I don't demolish it, then I can actually set some defenses here. I'm not really going, am I going for agriculture here? Well, commerce, this is from wealth. Hmm. Nomadic camp's not too bad. Ah, uh, this is, this, this fills me with like, maybe, maybe not. I'm going to take it. Oh, well, actually, I think I am going a decent amount of agriculture here, I'm thinking. So, but this one, I think, is being a farming town. So this is not bad. Because I do get, if I'm building a lot of agriculture, as well as all commerce. I don't know what the difference between agriculture and commerce is, though. Let's go agriculture. Okay. Right, now that we hold this whole territory... Now we can finish, I'm honestly, it looks like the Seleucids might only have Parsa, Gore, and whatever is over in Zadarka. I think we're in a position to completely wipe these guys off the face of the earth within the next turn or two. Not a turn or two, but within like a part or two. Let's see now. Let's end turn. 
Yeah, another army that is different from all the other ones. That's, I love it. Okay. So we now control the Silk Road. We now are mighty. I on, I need to, I forgot to double check objectives though. I'm going to do that once this end turns over because I want to see what my event, my, you know, my end game is going to be. If my end game is going to be taking over the world or just saying, hey, I think I have a good empire. Let's stop here kind of a thing. <laughs> I'm probably, I'm not going to go for the whole map. I think that's just not, I've never, my goal's never been to take over a whole map in a campaign. I just don't find it, I eventually get boring if that makes sense when it comes to the AI, because eventually you're just so powerful where it's like, eh, dead kind of thing. Well, it looks like the Slukids are sending an army up the Tarax. Oh, uh, have, have the, has the enemy declared war on me? Well, I guess Comus must have declared war on me because they originally were, do not assist. I just like to control all army groups. What will I get access to? Hmm, let me just do that. Fight on the battlefield. And I turned off control large army because I'm think my thinking is that. It'll be more in my favor than the enemy's favor. One thing I wish I could do is um, have my access to the navy if they don't let me. But if I can use the navy, I can sacrifice what the weak little navy that is there to try and potentially wipe out a ship or two of the enemy that would be coming in. Well, this battle's not hopeless. It is definitely not good for us. I was not, ex I was not, I'm not surprised that they are at war with us. I just was not planning on them attacking us. So what we're gonna try doing is we're gonna try barricading and making it so it's as big of a choke point as possible because choke points are in our favor. Actually, not with this, not really with this army now that I think about it. I don't remember what Comus had. I don't think they had a lot of phalanxes. We don't really have any phalanxes, though, either. So, choke points. I mean, choke points are probably in our favor because we are the smaller faction. Ah, so, basically, my, my thinking is I either want to block off here and just defend here, here, and here, or. I want to block off here and here and try and defend over here. The, that's the tough choice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to barricade here. It'll slow them down in that direction. And then I'm think I'm going to barricade here. Focus is to try and funnel them in to where I, th where I want to murder lies. If they choose to come down here, then I'm going to put some stuff right there. Since I don't really want to put my plan on putting my cav on this flank, I'm going to actually going to also put some spikes here. Now, when the enemy cav does come here, they will be attacked. Honestly, I'm thinking of putting the spikes actually somewhere else. Like here. I'll most likely charge into them. Because AI pathfinding probably won't bother going around them. And then I'll put the caltrops here, because I don't plan on bringing my cabin all around here. So it reduces the amount of the chance that I might be murdered. Okay. So we definitely want to force those guys to land, because them landing is in our favor, because my cav can then just charge in and wipe them off the face of the earth. My baggage train won't be able to do too much. So their job is just to look, to look pretty, basically. Ideally, we will have our weakest units in the front line to try and take as much of the brunt of the damage as possible. 
We're going to basically kind of take, I think, a layered approach to our defenses. I'm actually going to put this guy first. The reason why I'm putting these guys first is because they can get their javelins off for free. <laughs> Spearman can stop a cav charge, so I think I'm going to do that. These guys are right behind them does this to assist. These guys I'm going to put over here. I mean, I actually don't... I actually kind of want to let them in slightly when it comes to this flank. The reason why I want that is because it will allow me to potentially make use of the fact that Ada aren't the smartest beings in the universe and potentially get some nice flanks off on them. Basically, maybe try to squeeze them in. Make also this, allow them, this would give me a flank here to fire arrows into. This would also give me a flank to fire arrows into. And we definitely need one unit, guaranteed, to be watching this flank. And I'm probably going to have it be a unit of spears. Be just in case the enemy do, like does choose to go this way, I'll have an answer ready for them. And I can just plop two archery as right here ready to help assist with that. And same thing here, plop two guys right there, have, we'll need a unit. And then our cab is gonna have to basically just sit pretty back here. With the eagle to, of eventually engaging them into the fight. Make sure we're two for a little bit farther away. And our elephants, we're gonna have to basically make sure to make use of them in the fighting, or wherever they can be most useful. We're going to have our Thrao Spears both, both here positioned to move here if we need them or elsewhere. The Galatian Swordsmen, I love it if I can get them to flank something. But there's a realistic chance that I might just have to use them here. Unfortunately, there's no easy position to put any archers to have a maximum effect here. So it's like I kind of just pop them here and hope they can fire over the heads of my ally, my units. Because over here, well, they can kind of shoot a little bit, but it's only back here. And I'm like, oof, do I really want that kind of situation? But I think that's the best we can do for now. We have one deployable remaining, but I don't really plan on using it. It's kind of like the one that's harder to make use of. I don't know where my reinforcements would come from, but we'll see. Yeah, they're gonna have to walk all the way over here. Honestly, it does look like them coming on from this flank does seem more... That deployable is not where I thought it was. That's unfortunate. I thought it'd be also more over here too. I, I guess I just didn't pay enough attention. Yeah, these guys will definitely be attacked and we'll need to be ready for it. Repositioning them because I'm expect I don't want that corner was a little bit curved in the wrong direction, so I don't want to risk any issues there. That guy, I don't think ha is, what is he? He is a he is a melee. They're Greek Marines, so they have javelins and swords, so not a big threat. Our, our cav are in position to basically just wipe the floor with them once they land. Because my cav can just charge them, wipe them out, and one position of the enemy is wiped out. It's gone. It's obliterated. But with these guys now joining in the war, it does add a bit of an extra element of problems. Because with these guys getting involved in the in the war, that means that now Raga is in more danger than it was before. And it does mean that the war front is essentially going to keep pushing east, which means I think I am going to get, try and push more for that defensive alliance with Pergamon. I have to wait. Hold. Hold. They're almost landed. All landed.
Wipe them out. Perfect. Apparently the enemy general is already dead. I don't know quite how that happened, but it but it did. Okay, those guys landed, and then then they just get wiped out. It honestly, would have been a bigger problem if they had kept uh, if they had actually stayed on the boats. That way, I have to keep a constant eye out for them. But because they landed immediately, it wasn't a big deal. <laughs> Now one unit wiped out, and I can see, as you can see, enemy cav has charged through here. They have taken, they actually took no, oh, that guy's taking some damage with the caltrops, at least. But it does look like I will need to reor, re, might need to reorient where my guys are, because they seem to be entirely focused on going this way, which I was not expecting. But it's not the end of the world, because I can actually place my archers to react to that appropriately. I will need to keep like a token for us here to um, to keep an eye out for them. But I think I can now just start repositioning most of my troops over here now. I can start re re cycle charging now, I think. I'm gonna position this war elephant there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna position this one over here. I'm actually gonna pull these ones back and I'm gonna make use of them for something else. I'm gonna keep this one over here just in case. These guys do have some pretty good morale considering they're out surrounded and now they're about to be recharged, suckers. I'm gonna get these guys better positioned, I, I think. My load does look like I'll need to reposition some troops here. My Galatian swordsman, I'm gonna move down here as well. These guys have definitely got a nice amount of kills already. Fall back here. Perfect. We wiped out the enemy from the sea. These guys have taken some massive damage from my archers. I'm gonna make sure my archers don't move, so make sure, make sure everyone's actually really in defensive position. Defensive 
Once these guys get a little bit more tired, that's when I'll, I plan to engage my war elephants. Wiped out that guy. Looks like we'll need to bring that guy down now. They're definitely sending a decent amount of forces here. If they actually just try to bypass this position, then they'll have a problem with me being able to flank them. That's not good for them. Yeah, that guy's getting wiped out now. Only Parthian militias right now. I wonder, so... They don't have any armor. They have some shields, but that's about it. And now, honestly, they're equal to my, my units down here, so I'm just going to engage now. This first army is getting wiped out now. And once this force gets destroyed, then I can bring my cav around to deal with their remaining forces. Their remaining cav. Um, infantry divisions. Let me let me leave my general here. Uh, and I'm gonna advance these guys over here. Battle's always been in our favor. These guys, these Galatian levies are taking the brunt of the our Urcher damage, which is unfortunate for uh, for them, but. They also have, I think, the best shield, so it's better that they get hit rather than my Galatian swordsman. If we're, it's brutal, but all, but true. <laughs> and my archers have gone massive kills. Look at that. Let's see, is that enemy horde? Yeah, that is Cav. I can do the finishing blow now with these guys into the into their back sides. <laughs> they got a little bit of stuck on the routing militia units right there. Nice charge by my cav. I have to be careful not to push past the barricade because the cow traps are still there. Or it used to be the barricade, I guess. Is that barricade's actually now gone, so... They didn't listen to me, now they might die. Run, dudes, run. Listen to your... Listen to me. Fly, you fools. It looks like they didn't run into Caltrops, at least, which is good. I'm falling the back here because that means I can position my troops to, um, to cause some problems for them. I haven't yet needed to engage my elephants. Honestly, I can now turn around and actually screw these guys over. Because now they're in position for my... Perfectly positioned for my you my um my spearmen to get involved. We're still considered fresh, which is surprising to me. I guess the big swarm of bodies, not a lot of it was their responsibility, I guess. It does look like all but two of my archers have run out of ammo. So I'm gonna group these guys up, I'm gonna move them. Enemy's very heavy shock cav is about to get involved. They will have to push their own units and with the cal, cal traps that still remain, so they might lose a couple guys, but about it. 
Yeah, that one couch jumps a bit out of the way. These are now braced, I think, or at least they were about to be braced. Yeah, they had too many casualties. Even like, bra or like almost braced. That's that shock cab just obliterated the morale. Well, the bright side, they took the brunt of the damage instead of my other units, which is good. Do I have any other spearmen left? I have one spearman left. I need to get my elephants involved here. I'm gonna move over this one up here. I'm gonna move over him, this unit over here. And I'm just gonna move this guy a little bit closer to the fray. Where's my, I'm gonna bring my general in now. Even my spearmen are actually getting a little bit nervous. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna deal with that enemy archer. These enemy archers first. Oh, the enemy shock cav is here too. I didn't see that coming. I'm gonna pull back my general then. I don't want him getting wiped out here. Part of part of this kind of battle is more is morale based more than anything else. So if he dies, then I will lose the battle. the defense. Assist your general. These guys may have broken, but they have returned. But the, fortunately, they also ran into my spike traps, I think. So, good on those idiots. No, my spike traps are still there. They apparently somehow bypassed my spike traps, which is good for me. Making good use of this choke point, I feel. I don't usually recommend charging war elephants into archers, but do the job. I'm gonna run them away though, just to be on the safe side. It's a lot of archers on the enemy side. And my cab, which I would normally use to run them down, are probably all tired and exhausted right now, except my general. That war elephant's going aggro right now. I'm gonna fall the war elephants back to safety now.
the Glacian levies are holding. Honestly, I want these guys further back, now that I think about it. Because these guys are so healthy, I don't want them in the front. Looks like the enemy cav archers have run out of ammunition. Wow, how long has this battle been going on for? Well, quite a while. This, this one could have been a whole episode in of itself. Not uncommon, I guess, but still. Let's see, I'm gonna try, I'm actually gonna foam these guys back too, to try and reduce the amount of pressure that they take, especially considering how healthy they are. Don't want them just getting obliterated by enemy archers. Yeah, now the fresh enemy infantry are here. All of the archers have already... Oh no, they even have fresh archers, which is surprising. I would have figured those very light... Mi oh, probably because they're still reinforcing. Oof. Where are my reinforcements, though? <laughs> I guess I haven't lost any units yet. So I guess that's why I haven't got any reinforcements. But it's still a little awkward. Those archers... How do I... How much ammunition do they still have left? It's hard to tell. But they're doing a number on my men. They're still hitting my spearmen even that far away. Well, my archers, you're gonna have to kind of get involved here. My The front line's getting kind of whipped right now. Once this battle becomes a bit more engaged, I plan to bring in my elephants again. Not what I want. That's a weird way to try and stand yourself up. Galatian swordsmen are losing decisively, but their job right now is kind of to brunt the little bit of the assault by me some time. I'm gonna start advancing these guys up a bit now. These guys are all fresh, as well as fresh as can be. These guys are still are now active. They're almost even fresh, which is perfect. Once they get all bottlenecked right here, then it'll be our chance to try and get to get involved. Mm, we need to have a little bit more engaged. Just a little bit more. We don't have any more archers now. All of our archers are out of ammunition. Alright, time for me to engage my, my um, elephants now. That line's about to crumble. I need to make sure I can provide enough support for my elephants. I need you guys to throw your javies. I 
a nice amount of kills there. No, not even one kill with those javelin shots. That's not good. I'm gonna bomb rush my general into there. Let these guys can basically. I'm trying to use these guys to keep open a corridor for my cycle charges to kind of go through along the main brunt of the enemy. But for some reason, something's kind of blocking my general from having a really good charge there. And for some reason, not all my units are properly engaged, so they're kind of being a little bit useless. So that initial guy is actually about to be destroyed now. Perfect. I still have a unit of spearmen here. Alright, these guys I think are now about ready to start getting engaged almost. Pull them back. Perfect job in that rear charge. I'm going to pull them back now. Them being such a big blob, it's actually both a benefit for me and also a bit of an inconvenience too. Okay. If I get a nice another charge off, that might be enough. Come on, you can do it, men. Gonna charge in those jab, those uh, elephants now into that weak, exposed flank. I'm gonna pull these guys back just a moment to relax. I'm gonna charge, try to charge, get a nice charge into their guys' flanks. Keep up the fight. Yeah, there was, they still had a weak little opening underbelly right here that I was able to make use of with my cav. Perfect. We're starting to turn in this flank. A little bit, at least. I think this should hopefully be the last of the enemy army too, so once this gets wiped out, victory will be ours. We still haven't quite considered this our advantage yet, but we'll see if that continues. Perfect. That's actually opening up another corridor that I can actually make use of to bring my calf through and, ar and around their backsides. Well, my infantry keeps them all blobbed up. The one downside of how much of a blob I've just kind of put in, I'm most of my brain party is kind of keeping them, sh just shoving them in there. But that might have its own little downside to it. Alright, let me get you positioned here. Now the enemy are all getting rear charged. One of the benefits for uh, me of the enemy being blobbed up. Is the fact that if I hit the backside, I'm more I'm almost guaranteed it more than one enemy unit to, to inflict damage. There we go. Perfect. Let's just slaughter them all. We need to make it so they can't possibly attack me again. That's why I'm sending out my my generals bot my cav right now to just completely run down these people like the rapid dogs they are. Flip 
Perfect. That is going to be the end of this episode here. This video has been an hour long because of this battle. Thank you guys so much for watching this far along. If you guys like the video, press that like button down below. Subscribe to see more of my content. I'm going to do my best to try and get more videos work done tomorrow. So that way this can keep going for at least a month. You know, maybe give me some room to make extra videos in the, in the interim. That's what my goal is. So that way you guys can keep enjoying Total War concepts. I love Total War. I'm, I'm, I was not happy. I was, a bit, I was disappointed that I was too busy to play Total War uh, in, the, in these last few months. These elephants did an amazing job doing what they needed to do to kill people. Look at that, they're like ants being chased down. <laughs> I have to be careful about those spikes though. I guess I should have put more of those spikes down if considering how much they funneled into this way. I'm gonna get these guys more into a nice formation that way. They are all not just bumping into each other anymore. One of my units actually broke at the very end, that's funny. I find it funny how morale is still like that, but he was more realistic or something, but yeah, we lost a little under a thousand while they lost more almost four thousand troops, we just lost in a thousand. Oof. Now our enemy army was not strong and they had the numbers, but individually they were weak. Man, my cav got the, so the minimum they got was 300. My archers getting hundreds of kills. My infantry though, they didn't. They they took the brunt of the arrow fire for me. They took the brunt of the big hurts. That's why they they didn't get too many kills except for the Galatian swordsman. I think that one was the one that I engaged with at the end, or that one was actually the, yeah the very end that was on the southern side. I'm assuming that's what that guy is, with the 198 kills. He got the actually got the flank. Well, the other one just got hit by a bunch of arrows and had to be the main front line. Even though they're only light swordsmen, you know. You should just kind of live with it. Ugh. The enemy. I, there was a... There, I did, but yeah, that, that, I'm going to that choke, but it was perfect for me. Because my archers were able to just position that corner and they just rained down death upon the enemy. Getting kills after kill. Especially because they weren't very well shielded or armored. Because they're mostly militia, actually, apparently. And calf. Yeah, the, the Slukid Navy was just wiped out. That army, this general was killed. His, most of his men was able to get away. Because he was in a position where I wasn't really able to. This is the part where I really wiped the floor with them and made sure to chase them down. They still have an army left. Because they can still cause me trouble. But uh, we'll see. Looks like there's a rebel army. Maybe right there. I'm not sure what that is. Wait. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>